many beginners wonder what this thing called the DOM is. And I see it a lot at the moment where people are asking what DOM is. DOM stands for Document Object Model. And doing this here in Bootstrap Studio, DOM isn't here, but um, it's found in browsers. It's a cross-browser thing. So, for example, the, do, the do, document object model, for example, this is how you can do it. It's like a tree. And the document object model is at the very top. And then you have window. And then you have things like HTML and stuff like that. When this is uh, just for an example, if we look at this now, Obviously, this isn't part of the DOM yet, but here, because it's it's a, an editor of sorts, so it's, it's not uh, it's not part of the browser. So when you have um, say HTML document object model, it takes tags, it takes all your tags of HTML, and it takes them as objects. So you see with body, your divs, um, your head, your HTML, a tag. All of these tags in the DOM are classed as objects. Now, in something like JavaScript, and if you've seen, you, you probably have, if you've been interested in this thing, something called OOP. That stands for Object Oriented Language or Program. Um, and there's many of these languages that are OOP. And the argument against JavaScript is there's, a, there's things like C++ and Java where there's um, classes and things like that. Um, but everything in JavaScript, methods, um, functions, arrays, they're all objects. Although the, although the wording is different to you know, something like C++, but an example of this, where the um, the how the document is major uh, over the others. Years ago, there used to be pop-ups, and this is how it was written down: window dot open, and this was the function. Now that used to work it, as long as you put you know variables and all sorts of other things in, and it used to make pop-ups. But in reality, the best way to have done that, or the very correct way is document. So you have document.window.open. You also have things like document.write, document.bg.color, and things like that. So everything is in the this thing is the document. It's the king. Everything underneath. So as I say, JavaScript as, uh, and, and the JavaScript's changing all the time. Every five minutes, there's something new they're putting in it. Um, and, and they are starting to come where it's very similar wording. Now, if you just look onto this, and if you go to the preview of on, on the Bootstrap Studio, um, and what you're going to do here is just look at what we've created in Bootstrap Studio here on, on, this, uh, on this page. And that's just from over here. I was looking to see if there was actually anything on the DOM in, in the program, but there's not. Throw in that load, which will be about tomorrow sometime. Right. So if you inspect the elements, so you go down here, right click, inspect element. And you see... And you see, and here it is. So you've got the console down down there. So many people do the console.log in JavaScript. So now you have a look at this. And this is in elements. So you see what the whole thing is. So this is how the tree works, the HTML and all that down there. I know this might sound confusing, and if anybody you know, wants to get back onto me and like explain it better. No worries, because um, it is, it's a, it's a fiddly thing to, to explain. And 
you know, like I said, they have the uh, tags as objects. And here with styles and all the rest of it down here, but event listeners, now this is interesting, if it's got them on. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> all these event listeners and methods and stuff, um, blur, like you would say, on click, and these are um, functions or inbuilt stuff, but methods they called. Key of key download, visibility change, focus in, focus, and uh, all these things. These are all part of the DOM. Uh, it's got DOM breakpoints there as well. So if you remember that, if you look under these things in, um, in the elements, just as I say, right click and look at the elements, inspect elements. Everything is there and, it, and it's in the tree form. So it's... Uh, it is interesting, it's important to know, um, and it's, like I said, it's not easy to explain, but all you've got to think of is the document is the king, and everything else is underneath that, after the, after the document, then there's a window. And this is uh, the document object models being there, I think right from the start, it's just, just the way it is, and... I mean, I've been doing this nearly 20 years, and it was it was there then, and everything was document, every, you know, document, right? And if you were using forms, everything was about document, dot name, dot value, and all the rest of it for your inputs and and uh, buttons and all the rest of it. It was it was uh, <laughs> it, things were quite easier, I think, back then because you, it seems like. There's so many frames, uh, frameworks and libraries and all the rest of it these days, and it, it is very difficult to uh, keep up. Anyway, I hope you've uh, learned something from that. As I say, there may be questions on that, so I'll, uh, I'll try and answer them the best I can. So thanks again for watching these videos.